So it is important and good that we can gather together to pray for the dead. The month of November is traditionally dedicated to the faithful departed and souls still in purgatory. It's a season of intercessory prayers on behalf of all the departed souls and also reflection of our actions. Our prayer is a sort of bailing them out. We say, good Lord, we know yes, they, they don't deserve heaven immediately, but let our prayer be a purification and help them to end. The Vicar General Lugazi Diocese, Reverend Father Richard Kayondo, expressed concern over rising infidelity, defilement, rape, murder, among others. Kayondo challenged the Christians to always reflect on Jesus' life for better livelihoods. We marry and get married because we are imperfect. We want to be fulfilled. Father Richard Kayondo was leading a service in memory of the departed of Namiliango College, especially those who succumbed to COVID-19. Praying for the dead is an act of charity. Let, us, let that be part of our life. We believe in life after death. He called upon learners to appreciate the sacrifice of their relatives and learn to live exemplary lives. The head teacher, Namiliango College, Constantine Mpuga, says the school went through dark times during COVID-19 when they lost a number of students, parents, teachers, including the former head teacher. I remember my brother, Juba Jeremiah. As we remember and pray for these people, we come to realize that as human beings, we only come to appreciate the connections and the significance of people in our lives when they are gone. Dr. Chibuka and Father Sweeney used to encourage the boys never to cease to learn. I would like that we pick this from him or from those two persons. This has not only affected the school, but also some students, both physical and spiritually. The school is in the process of starting an initiative to support students who are financially incapacitated. We chose to pray for the people who are with us, who that have departed us from this world. These people supported us emotionally, financially, mentally and physically. And through the wonderful journey, we were able to come back with gold, both the lawn tennis team and the rugby team. So today we would like to thank God for that victorious win and wonderful journey. Namiliango College, built in a Catholic foundation, is one of a few traditional schools that have still stood the test of time. The school is yet to fundraise for the construction of the structure in memory of all the departed allies. Susan Naong and Andrew Sebira, reporting for ABC TV.